So this is the trip lever from the exercises in week 3, the 12 geometric exercises. So the trick with these exercises is that to find the center point of a lot of these arcs you have to add or subtract radii that are measured from known positions. So let's draw in what we know for starters. We'll draw in these base lines here and some center lines. So we'll just draw what we know. So I'll just start drawing some lines here. Uh, not sure how big this is going to be. It's only fairly small. Okay, let's call that our baseline and we've got a 20 miller fillet on the bottom there. I'll do that later. We'll just leave that there for now. Uh, we've got some center lines. So I'll offset this, these both these lines by 20 millimeters. So let's use offset. A distance of 20. So 20 across to there and 20 up to there. We've also got a uh, center line offset up 38 and then 12 above that. So offset once again 38 and the base line comes up 38 and then another 12 offset 12 of this line up to there. Now if we look at the um, construction of this we've got an arc of 55 which blends in with the left hand side here so we know that the center line of that arc is 55, 55 away from the side so if we offset that side line across 55 we've now got the center point for that arc so let's do that well, this uh, can get very confusing with lines going everywhere so we'll go offset 55 and that line goes across, that doesn't right, look right, we'll try that again. Offset, 55, and this line goes across to there. So we now have the center of the arc 55. I'm going to draw a circle in there. Center, and that will be 55. So that's that arc. We can put in our little fillet at the bottom now. Um, so I'll just draw a circle on that corner of 20. And let's do some trimming at this point in time uh, so it sort of clarifies it for us. So we'll go to trim. I'm going to select everything and we'll just take out some of these lines that aren't needed. should be able to just erase these ones here. I should have trimmed that back when I was in there. Gets pretty hard to keep this tidy. Alright, that gives us a bit of an idea. So, let's look at the next part. Uh, we can set this circle up here because we know that it's 130 across and it's 120 up. So let's do that next and then we'll draw in that circle. And then we should be able to get that arc because it is 112 offset down from the top line and it will be 112 offset from this arc here. So if we go 112 minus 55 is 57 so if I draw a circle 57 from there, I should be able to get the center of that 112 arc. Righto, so that'll give me that arc and a little short line there and this line around, this arc around here. So let's have a go at that. So first of all, we'll offset our base line up 130.
and we'll offset our sideline oh sorry that was 120 control Z undo offset 120 up and offset 130 across okay so that's the center of a 20 millimeter radius circle let's put that in and we know that there's a bit of a line coming from the quadrant point across like so and then we've got a blend radius coming from this 55 arc through to that straight line we have to find the center of that arc so the center of this uh, circle is there I need to come 57 away from that circle so let's do a another circle of 57 radius so my uh, my center point is somewhere on that circle we also know that it is 112 away from this line so I'll offset that line by 112 so there down to there right so there is the center of my arc it is 112 so let's do a circle in here center and it will be 112 and let's trim that up so we can actually see what's going on it uh, as I said before gets very messy so we'll trim that off trim that off let's trim that off uh, I'll trim that bit out there because that will come in here somewhere I'm not sure it'll probably come a little bit to the right of center there now this blends into the 55 so there is the end of that 55 and here's the end of the 112 our construction line here the 57 it can go uh, the rest of that circle I think can go so that's looking pretty good we've got our, our curve coming right up to the top and then round and we're ready to we're ready to start on this next curve here and try and get some of these other centers in place now <coughs> I think we've already got this point here so it's 12 down and it's 55 across so we'll just try and select our 55 so that's going to be the center there of my 12 mil radius circle so let's put that in 12 okay now we've got a 20 millimeter radius circle here we know that it's 20 up from the bottom I think I've already got a line there at 20 and we know that it is 12 plus 20 which is 32 away from the center of this circle so if we do a circle here center 32 and there's my line that's 20 millimeters up so that is the center of that 20 millimeter radius circle so let's put that in So that's 20 and I can actually trim that let's do some trimming here while we go comes along there comes wraps around it finishes there this one wraps around okay I think we can delete that circle that arc and we're going pretty well we've only got one curve to put in basically uh, let's see how we can find that so it is a 95 and we know there's a blend radius here so if we go 95 plus 20 is 115 115 from that point and we're blending with this 12 mil radius so if we go 95 